Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about GitLab. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, cloud and containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. I am going to install, I am going to show you the two demo in fact. One is like uh, installing uh, GitLab E uh, E Enterprise Edition uh, you uh, on Linux. Now operating system which I'm using is CentOS 7. Okay. Now after this, uh, I will show you that uh, uh, Docker uh, instructions also. Though it's not that difficult, Docker we have hardly one command to run. So let's get started. So First thing, this is my IP address for today. And this is my username, Ubuntu. Okay, now I have just updated. Yeah. And I'm following this notes actually all of you though official documents also you'll get it uh, but uh, lots of things are there in official documents so i just want to avoid that okay so here my machine let me log in and guys request you all to look at my demo uh, carefully because we have to do something similar uh, in your environment also so each one of you i'll get you the live environment and you'll have to replicate. You will own your own environment. So we will not disturb each other uh, work areas. So new CentOS sudo hyphen c yeah. now i'll just make this uh, this view better i hope it is visible to everyone right all of you is visible yeah okay so let's get started so here step number one we have to use install these are the utilities okay so let's get started copy and paste let me tell you the steps will change it depends on the platform mode again so this is only for the centos and rhl not for ubuntu not for susis and other operating system <clears throat> so i'm installing this done now i'm going to uh, enable sshd which is there by default actually just to make sure that it's there and start the ssd which is started but i know but it's just for make sure that it's there now this command will open up the create exceptions in the firewall http let me tell you here in the operating system there is a firewall and there is a network firewall in aws okay which we call it a security group so security group i have enabled everything and this firewall the system firewall is disabled by the way but still if you have your own environment probably you'll be running that uh, you'll be missing with the some of the features so just uh, put this command this command will not work because this firewall is not there so this command will not needed in my uh, vms for you also is not needed but if you are trying to use some of your vm in your infrastructure then needed actually okay and then reload the firewall this will not work so that's okay so these three commands in ec2 will not work the one is stress now after that uh, we'll have to enable this post fix okay so if you are using the smtp server which we don't have today but i'll get you tomorrow or day after tomorrow smtp server so uh, right now we don't have then for sending an email we can use a uh, post fix for this and it's already installed in this vm enable this 
and start the post fix that's all now this is done all this thing i would request you to read a little bit of it and then this command basically is uh, basically adding the yum repos with the gitlab repository and also downloading the packages okay so this will be little bit time consuming this command clear the screen and here now because it's aws it will take a little less time compared to your machines depends on the internet speed and stuff like that so let's wait for it see guys end of it you should get this message the repository is set up you can now install the packages so now repository set up and now on uh, this i am going to install it guys i would look at i will request you to look at the uh, the commands the command is very simple actually okay this is the one uh, yum install y gitlab ee but we are providing one dns entry okay dns entry so this dns entry you can you can decide what dns you want to have it so th this depends on uh, what dns you want to have it uh, typically lots of work around you can do that for example you know what uh, do you know the local dns file in windows what is that location Win windows etc host right so what you can do just clever the work you can do whatever the ip address there we have uh, just put it in that ip address and whatever the host name you can get it working so that is not a uh, concern actually so here but uh, but because of aws uh, we get a dns entry for aws also so i can use that one also so for example uh, this is my dns entry where is that this is the dns entry i'll give it to you uh, just a second okay so all of you can see my screen right uh, everyone answer yeah sorry to uh, get ha huh, i'll give you the pem file uh, i'll upload to github gitlab a uh, github sorry no same same pem file will work for everything i'm using the same pem file i'll give you that yeah i'll give you each one of you will get a one machine and there you can do that okay guys so look at my screen all of you so i was discussing this command this command so guys you know what uh, this is important little bit of it so during the installation itself you can pass multiple environment variable to the installations okay now this will be uh you can interpolate the default setting whatever it is so right now the 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 url which should be for me is this one and that is go to the aws this is the one okay so this is the url now this dns entry i will give it to you but what you can do you can keep it any name here and hard code the ip address hard code ip address so you here you can it can be any name and in etc file you can hard code and dns entry can be ma manipulated now next question you will ask uh, what are the uh, commands what are the parameters we can pass here okay what are the options so for that i have uh, created a list of all the environment variables which you can pass it so let me share with you that one also so gitlab environment variable so here so during the installations you can pass all the environment variable this is up to date okay so here you can see you can pass the database url you can pass enable boot snmp and many other stuff which you can pass it okay so during the installation itself there are so many things you can pass in fact password you can pass and uh, email reply to you can pass only right now i'm passing this is the only one required which we have this one makes sense so if you want to pass any other stuff in future by the way it's not like you you missed it and you cannot modify again 
you can go and modify and again restart the service that is possible but yeah this is the install, uh, environment variable this file you can check it out so now let's get started so here i am posting this dns entry and this will be my gitlab server okay so let's get uh, let's get started let me tell you here ee means enterprise edition cc means community edition ce means community editions so that is the package which you have it so let me run this package now restart centos sudo because i'm on the i'm using the uh, wi-fi through phone so i might see lots of disconnection automatically so that's okay enter now this command will take i think 10 minutes approx uh, to you know get installing downloading and all everything okay so this is the command which i just ran and this will not this one sorry this one and it will do that stuff so rest of the thing so internally what exactly it will do so if you know the cookbook concept then i think it's easy to understand uh, they will install the chef uh, chef clients okay and chef client will download lots of cookbooks from the internet and then it, those cookbooks will be one by one they will execute in the batch so these are the things which will happen so let me pause the recording now okay so i see that the command has been completed there were some errors also but for time being i'll just ignore it because i think that's a uh, something related to authorizations and less script let's encrypt so what is less let's encrypt there were some errors so uh, why it has happened uh, i'll just check later but what is this so less encrypt is basically a portal okay and they provide a certificate and that too also free of cost but the only thing is that certificate will be valid that for 30 days so uh, many organization what they do because buying a certificate again you have to pay for 10000 rupees or something like that for a year or something so many organization what they do uh, they use the less encrypt certificate and they automate the process so every 30 days automatically it will get renewed so but uh, i use the domain name which was not uh, which was rejected by less, less this will keep troubling me because of internet so i'm just checking the status and i see everything is okay so there is no problem in the uh, gitlab server so it should be accessible and done yeah no is in the command itself it will be done automatically okay so i am able to access it this error you can ignore it certificate error now advance and continue now the username which is uh, the default which you can try uh, which is root the root here okay now the password uh, you could have created a password while installing itself but because i did not pass that parameter so i have to fetch the password from this location okay etc gitlab initial password so i am fetching that password from that location and where is the password here it is this is the password and save it now you know what i should store it because i i'm going to need this root and that's all and sign in and that's all now these are the warning sign just ignore it and this is your gitlab enterprise edition okay so something similar will i'll show you that later point of the time uh, for docker docker is just one command you have to install the docker and run one command so that is you have to do that now from here onwards your training will get started okay so first i will focus on the ui part and then once you get comfortable with all the ui all the features and all then get back to the admin part also any questions so far now there's one question you may ask me uh, here i run one command there's one command i run which is here correct so then then you may ask me what are the options we have 
because as an administrator this command is very important for you okay so throughout your lifetime you have to work with these commands gitlab hyphen ctl that means how to control gitlab as an administrator this command will help you so i have created a list of commands one uh, one dedicated uh, page for that and that uh, that will help you to uh, com get comfortable with this all commands so what is that let me show you here this is the one okay so in this page i'm i'm putting all these pages here only so here in this page all this gitlab command which i am having right now i have listed down so general commands we have service related commands so today uh, as mostly we are going to use service related command i, I think i don't think so you will you will stuck anywhere status start stop correct now so these are the simple command but slowly we'll get into that all the commands so here you have all the commands here uh, omnibus ctl commands are there omnibus ctl means if you install the gitlab in the linux server linux vm that is controlled by omnibus Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps-related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopsschool.com, or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlists and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy.